though, we are tracking changes. That's why we've declared tomorrow a first alert weather day. On the satellite and radar on this Friday afternoon, we are tracking some showers and thunderstorms in southeast Colorado out through Springfield and Lamar. Those moving through dry here in the Denver metro area. Some clouds pushing in, giving us a little bit of relief from the heat out there. And we will stay dry today. Change does come our way tomorrow. By tomorrow afternoon, we'll start to see those rain showers develop up in the high country. So if you have any outdoor plans, best to do that early tomorrow morning here in the Front Range and across Eastern Plains because it will be a dry start to the day. A little bit on the cool side, but it will be a dry start and that's going to be the driest weather of the weekend. But by the late afternoon, early evening, that's when we'll start to see that rain move into the I-25 corridor, pushing off to the Eastern Plains. And then it's Saturday night into Sunday. That's where we'll see that rain change over to snow up in the mountains. And we'll see those showers linger through Sunday morning where we'll continue to see showers up and down the Front Range, snow wrapping up in the high country turning over to rain as we go through the day and by Sunday afternoon that's when we'll start to see some drier weather head our way. Here's a closer look at the future cast here for the front range starting out dry again tomorrow morning so if you have any outdoor plans that is the time to get outside but by the afternoon this is two o'clock starting to see some very isolated showers up and down the I-25 corridor. It's really later in the afternoon through the evening hours that we'll see the bulk of the moisture move in and then that rain will really pick up overnight. So stopping this Saturday into early Sunday morning, we'll have moderate to heavy rain at times up and down the front range as well as the eastern plains. That will continue through Sunday morning. So if you have any soccer games, things like that on Sunday morning, plan for some wet weather that snow tapering off in the high country and we'll gradually see those rain showers move out. And by Sunday, late Sunday night, we will see much drier conditions. Taking a look at the snow total we could see snow drop to 8,500 feet up across the Eisenhower Tunnel, though. We're looking at totals around three to six inches Saturday night into Sunday. Before we get there, though, today will be beautiful. We'll be in the 80s here in the Front Range, 70s up in the high country here in the metro area, 86 here in Denver today, 70s in the foothills. If you're headed to football Friday at Echo Park Stadium, weather looks beautiful for kickoff. We'll stay in the low 80s. It'll be nice and mild, but as we go through the game, the temperature will fall by the fourth quarter in the low 70s. It'll be cool and mild, but you might want to just bring a jack to the game. And then looking ahead to the weekend tomorrow, a first alert weather day for those big changes coming our way. It'll be a very quiet start to the day, but only topping out in the upper 60s and those showers moving in late in the day. And then on Sunday, we see those temperatures fall into the 50s. On the super seven day forecast, again, first alert weather day tomorrow for that rain and snow moving in, temperatures falling. It's going to feel like fall on Sunday as we see temperatures below normal, just in the mid 50s. But it doesn't last long, Michelle, if you're a fan of the warmer weather. It's back by Monday, 74 degrees with mostly sunny skies.